So here I was regretting that I stayed up way too late playing League of Legends until my support buddy told me, hey, OTS 26 is really fire with what they revealed. And I asked, what do you mean by that? As you read in the title, we have OTS 26 here. It is now, I think, like 4 in the morning for me. Yeah, 4.30 in the morning. So hopefully you guys like this after hours uh video we're gonna go over ots tournament pack 26 if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button subscribe i know you guys already see all three ulties it's kind of hard to not spoil it uh and let me know what you think of this in the comment section below as well check out our sponsors so we got low phantom you bell and die the black witch now i'm not i'm gonna skip low we already knew about low uh die star was an odd choice to me uh because we already have the qcr we're getting a plat of this card i think now or maybe we're not because they're not reprinting qc so maybe they're not giving us a plot of this card in bonanza but if they are and we're getting this ulti it's like okay i guess it's cool because now we have ulti ash but i feel like a lot of people would rather just have the whole deck qcr or they'd rather just i don't know get one of the other rarities to die a battle star i don't i know this is a lot better at least of a card and it looks very cool i will definitely want one for my collection phantom of you bell is very interesting here because yes they are kind of being like oh these are the meta decks we're gonna give them ultis right and it feels like ots 21 where we're not gonna see this age as well uh granted at least we know these cards have more time like i don't see boys's voice getting hit but if the QCR is like $60 for low, maybe $70, I think, at this point, the ulti is going to be what after a couple weeks? 15 20 probably 20 bucks. I mean, deck's budget, so I see $20, to be honest with you here, for ulti low. I don't like this choice really at all, Um, I especially because it doesn't match with anything. Uh, the U-Bell, though, I think a lot of people are going to like that. U-Bell becomes a cheaper deck now as well, because instead of these being a buy-in at like 40 something, maybe 50 bucks. You got them here for, I mean, if secrets are holding 40s, well, they'll probably go down, what, 30, 25? So your Phantom U Bell is definitely going down. If you got these at hype when they were 70, 80, I feel so sorry for you. But this OTS is definitely going to be way better than 25. I mean, I, I don't know how they could possibly mess up more than 25. But like I said, it's more akin to OTS 21 where we got Fenrir, Sprite Blue, and Tillamit Rhino Heart ulties really for the right now and that's how they like ots right because they want to reprint it as like a higher rarity like two months to three four months down the line so i guess i hate to say it but it hit, it fits with the theme of how they treat ots if you're a person on the channel uh who's been watching me for all you know exactly what i mean absolute king backtrack as a super i think this is good it just had golds it's actually a card that gives labyrinth love but it also might give other decks love as well if this is used it's a it's a kind of a fanfare card a lot of players just recognize this card because they like it a lot too it, it's kind of very funny how it is i know it's a jack atlas card i think it's a cool super uh and it's actual upgrade because it doesn't have any higher rarity except for again premium gold so very good super they'll probably make it like a secret rare like two months down the line uh ancient gear frame look i don't know about the ancient gear deck but i'm pretty sure there was like I don't know if this is good or not, but I guess it all, it's an upgrade, right? Lantern Shark. Uh, I guess they're giving the sharks the more of the super stuff. So we got this. Don't know if it's good or not. Shark people, let me know. Buzzsaw. I know Buzzsaw is good, so that's good. Samurai Destroyer. Very, very good. That's a good super. We just had a rare. It's a good reprint. Again, I don't think players were being super upset about a $5 card. It's just more of a straw that broke the camel's back. Oh, now this is $5. Oh, but now we have to get full RS. That's 500 Now I have to spend 5 $6 on a rare. You know what I mean. Plus, it's an upgrade. Super is very nice. So, so far with the supers, we got one, uh, two, three. And again, I, I, I this is probably used. Let me see. You normal it. And then... Um, oh, okay. So, cool. So, it it you know it's basically helps you special. All right. I guess that's probably good. Moon, uh, Moon of the Close Heaven. Again, I think everybody saw this coming. Uh, very, very good super. Uh, Chicken Game as a super is actually quite good. Um, very, very good super, actually. Uh, it's limited. The money, the uh, comments actually got bought out. So it serves as a reprint, yeah, an upgrade. So super rare, very, very good to see. Okay, so the supers are very good, but we know how good supers can land up. Ostionado, I, I actually thought this was going to be the last OTS. So very good. Saying and summoning, be honest with you here. I hate Tenpai, but I guess I want to give Tenpai super, whatever. It, it's useful. Uh, and then we get right over here, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine 
so I think we have 10 supers because it doesn't really tell us where the supers clock like stop, but I'm pretty sure fire sorcerer might be the last super because you know, 10 supers. Okay. If this is a super, I'm, I'm confused. I'm going to say that because I think we get 10 supers weird. And then I guess we just have the comments here. Um, don't know why we're getting... She and Common is hot, actually. She and Common is very, very hot. I think that's very cool. Uh, Valiant Shark. Okay, I know this card came out somewhere. This is for Azamina. The Smoke Signal Common is actually kind of cool. Um, the rest of these comments are whatever. I think She and's cool. It's not, like, needed. Supers are still, like, 10 cents. So maybe it's kind of bad in a way, but... Just so this, like, uh, this gets a reprint every six, seven years of some kind... Whatever, right? I, again, it's not completely bad, but, you know. And then Valiant Shark. I know as a... I don't know what the price of this is, but I know... Um, no, th not as Amina. Um, guys, I'm forgetting what name it is, but there's a, a very great deck in the OCG that's using this. I just... I can't um, figure it out, but it's, like, going crazy, and there's, like, Tier 0. Um, name's escaping me because it's 4.30. I'm really tired, so you guys got to give me a little break, okay? A little break. Um, but yeah, overall, what do I think of this set? Um, I think it's a good OTS, but like I said, it's going to be really good of the time. Because, again, if they ever hit Phantom Ubel or Ubel falls off, guess what? This falls off. Granted, people who like Phantom Ubel are going to like this card, and we have high rarity. But again, collectors want the QCR, so it's not even highest rarity. And, you know, it's the new OTS ulti, so there's that. Low, again, very, very late on low. As someone who's probably going to pick them up too. Because if they're like 15 bucks, I don't lose shit. Uh, Die Bell Star again, not bad at all here. I think it's like weird because we're we're getting this so many rarities, but now we have this ulti. Um, again, like I said, it's a v OTS very much of the times, but the supers look very good and promising. Uh, but again, we've seen Dino Mundo, right? That was a super in OTS twenty five, and we got the reprint Ultra to us weeks ago so that super had probably a month and a half two months to live maybe not even that was supposed to be a knock out of the park super and i'm kind of wondering what they're going to shove these into uh i think moon god's going to be good i think your ots is going to be good because since there's a lot of good ones here like saying in something i know it's only at one but like since tempai is a popular deck it just came to master Roll, this will probably hold two bucks for after like you know a few weeks you know two dollars last year now might hold a dollar or two chicken game is going to hold a little bit of value moon will hold value samurai sword is probably going to hold a dollar nah you know that you're at ots since you're paying entry it's going to hold some value here uh these cards are going to be the ultis are going to be expensive at first so if you do end up getting these hey it won't be so bad uh will i be getting a box of this because a lot of people ask me hey are you done with ots you know because you didn't get ots 25 um i feel way but i don't see I see the writing on the wall on um, and it's I know it's looking like a combination of 25 and 21 and 25 is bad and 21 was for the time. So if I did get a case, I would probably just open it up for like a hundred bucks, hundred packs video, make it a 30 minute video and just have fun with it. That's kind of what I would do. I wouldn't really go too crazy with this. Um, but with that being said, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Um, there will be a market watch. Uh, by the time you guys see this is probably like this video is probably hours old. Um, or at least I hope it is, and will be. Um, I'll be in my mark watch a little later on Thursday, like two or three, um, because I try to go early, but I'm actually just gonna sleep in because I'm very tired. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.